Okay. I think we're good. All right. So I love the Bravely series. I've played Default and I played Second. Uh, they're both great games with various problems. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Default 2's uh, demo stacks up here. I didn't play Octopath Traveler. I played the demo of it, but I never really got into it. Great music. Interesting setup. Just not something that I think I would be spending. Like, uh, given how they said it works, I'm just, like, not into the idea of sinking 100 hours into that game. You never play Bravely Second, but you like Bravely Default 1. Bravely Second is meant to... is That's a little loud. Bravely Second is meant to be kind of the second half of Bravely Default. I will say it is, um... It is kind of... Like, well, I guess not. Because if you play Bravely Default, it just you can just end it there. If you do want the whole story, I would say play it. It is a very fun game. It's a lot less repetitive than Default 1 is in terms of story, but the actual story is not as good. It kind of has this weird ending point to it, but uh, I will say that the, the, the big twist in the middle of the story is handled really well. Thanks so much for downloading the demo. This is a special version of Bravely Default 2 allow, designed to allow you to get the grips on how everything works. The story is separate from the main game, and the battle difficulty is also just a little higher so that you can enjoy the challenge of various jobs and abilities available, and learn to work with the brave and default commands. Don't be afraid to experiment, and most of all, have fun. Fire, water, wind, and earth. Four crystals to keep the world on an even keel. Their guardianship, and the sacred duty of the royal family of Musa. But then one day, the kingdom is overrun and reduced to ruins, and the crystals taken by force. Things have not been the same since. The nations of the world have been beset by countless odd occurrences. But all is not lost. Princess Gloria was able to flee the destruction, and has since resolved to restore all four crystals to their rightful place. And in doing so, fulfill her duty as the sole remaining scion of her ill-fated line. Her quest has been an arduous one, but she has made some friends along the way. The hero of our tale, a sailor washed up on the shores of this world from parts unknown. Seth, good to meet you. The name of this w young wanderer? Seth. I bet the twist is that he's going to be from Lux and Dark, from, uh, Bravely Default. A scholar seeking to unravel the mysteries of a book bequeathed to him by his mentor. Alrighty. The irre- is the name. Okay. The irrepressible Elvis, and a young mercenary hired by Elvis to help find help him find the mysterious stones known as asterisks. Oh, hi. I'm Adele. The delightfully dangerous Adele. Interesting. So, finding the asterisks is actually going to be a part of the like major story here. We join this motley band of adventurers as they arrive at the last in the as they arrive at last in the city of Savalon after an exhausting trek across the searing sands. This looks like the... Oh, well, no, it's got an oasis. So I was going to say, it looks like the desert town from default. An oasis in a desolate desert. Savalon. I don't know if I'll stream this whole game. I'm definitely going to play it, but uh, I don't think this is going to be a game I'm going to stream. It's a long... It would be a very, very long commitment. Then again, who knows? Crossing that desert was pretty tough going. You okay, Gloria? Oh, I've been through far worse. We'll see what else I'm streaming at the time. And besides, it's not me we should be worrying about. To see dear old Savalon half submerged like this is well, it's a shock, to say the least. Oh, so it's not supposed to have an oasis. It's because of one of the crystals. Right? It would seem so, yes. The water crystal is here. I'm certain of it. Whoa, it's a wee bit sweaty around these parts, eh? I could <laughs> something to wet the old whistle.
whistle. Ho, ho, ho. Oh God. <laughs> a little something from the tavern, you mean? That's an accent, all right. Now there's a fine suggestion. You're a woman after my own heart. Lead on, lassie. The first round's on me. I hate to break it to you, but we have more important things to be getting on with. Just think, though. The first drink will taste all the sweeter once we've done something to earn it. Aye. I suppose you're right. Well, let's take care of business first. Then we can get down to some serious pleasure. <laughs> Drunk scholar. Great uh, cliche right there. <laughs> he really does make it too easy. Hey, guys. So... You find anything out? Aye. I ran into a chatty local who was more than happy to spill the beans in exchange for a few coins, eh? Seems the place suddenly started filling up with water about two years ago. Everyone was delighted at first. They thought it was a blessing, in fact. But then the water level just kept rising and rising, and as you can see, now half the city is submerged. Only fish and waterfowl will be able to live here if this carries on. It would seem that Sabalon's troubles began at around the same time the crystals were stolen from my kingdom. One of them was brought here. There is no doubt about it. Sure seems that way, huh? Mm. All right then. Let's split up and try to find out some more about what's been going on. Fairly standard stuff. Use L to move around, hold B, move, uh, run, X, open the menu. Eh, person you need to talk to advance them with the main story. If you're stuck, try pressing R to get an overview of the area. In the other game, you just stood still. As you proceed the story, you'll occasionally come across people in need of help. Blah, 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 icon. Talk to them to offer your services. Camera controls? Wait a minute, what? What of the water crystal? Gather information on the water crystal. Alright, so R so it does zoom out automatically. R just does it immediately. Control mode. Default movement speed. We want that to run, obviously. Uh, auto advanced dialogue off. Text display speed fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attributes. Oh, okay, that's just status. Freelancer, Vanguard. Experience. Chance of being targeted. That's an interesting stat. Aim, evasion, restorative power, magical attack, magical defense. Wow, they really break it down, huh? I don't know if the second one's like that. Miscellaneous Heroics, Miscellaneous White Magic, Martial Arts, Black Magic, okay. Uh... Okay, you don't know what that's about. Monk, White Mage, Black Mage, Vanguard. Okay. Okay, so they still change costumes. That's good. I like that White Mage costume. That's actually really cool looking. Wow, that armor is so shiny. Thirty percent chance of surviving one HP. Not applicable when only one HP is remaining. Strike a single enemy with a powerful physical attack. Okay. How come he's the only one that has a special ability?
Alright, looks like we got a bunch of stuff here. Why is the, the run speed feels loose in this game? It feels like you kind of like don't have a whole lot of control. The ground floor is already underwater. We cannot go on like this. If you are tired, you should rest at my mother's inn. Mm, the products I ordered have yet to arrive. They say that some weapons are particularly suited to specific jobs. Be sure to keep an eye on the weight of your equipment, however. Carrying too much will drain your strength. Some to be aware of when weapon shopping. Wait, really? That wasn't a thing in previous games. The desert is swarming with monsters. Be sure to make adequate preparations before leaving the city. Should ask around about what's happening. Welcome to the Desert Kingdom of Savalon. Is this where the water crystal was taken? We should start gathering some information. Weight goes up. Yeah, weight is a stat now, huh? Interesting. Knife forged from a rare material. Have you checked the jobs that are available to you yet? Each job is different and allows you to do different things. For example, vanguards have incredible defense, while white mages excel at restorative magic. Also, you must not forget that everyone can have a sub-job, too. What will become of this kingdom? Once we prayed for water, now it is our greatest fear. Get my knees right real quick. Sheltering inside with a good book is the best way to deal with the heat. Must be constantly vigilant while on patrol. Alright. Water swallow most of the city's roads and byways. Did I just go behind that? I think I did. I went like... Or maybe not. I don't know. Seek information? The innkeeper may be able to help you. Father visits that large building, large building every day. I wonder what he does there. Water continues to rise. What in the world will become with us? Become of us? Yes, yes. If and when you win, then I shall consider it. If you win, will you marry me? Yes. Will you promise? That's not the way to marry someone. No, these barrels simply refuse to break. city becomes more crowded with every passing day. Rarely move from the spot, but it is never dull. The whole world comes to me. I had no idea there was a gaming hall here in the city. Don't give Elvis a penny, even if he begs. This is a good spot. It is nice and cool with a fine view of the stage. <laughs> Fortune never seems to favor me. That's a gambling hall. That's neat. Yeah, Elvis confirmed uh, Epic Gamer. Explore everywhere.
This is where the pit, bo pit boss brings you when you break the bank. Then he breaks your legs. Pig. None may pass. Greetings. Those are the barracks where our brave soldiers reside. If you're interested in Sav Savalonian interiors, please do not hesitate to take a look around any inside. Take a look around inside any buildings that interest you. Ugh. You're a visitor here, yes? This is the royal palace. Prince Castor is a fine man. He always puts his subjects first. Have you tried using passive abilities yet? I've heard they could provide very beneficial... I've heard they could pr prove very beneficial indeed. Especially when used in combination with each other. Be sure to keep an eye on the cost, however. The king believes in justice above all. That's why he enjoys the support of his subjects. My comrade recently made a minor error, and I was harshly rebuked. I don't understand why his highness singles him out so. Please do not talk to me. Let's rob the palace of their goods. Welcome to Savalon. Make yourselves at home. I think I will. I think, excuse me, I got stuff to steal. Elegant cloak that could be used to protect the face. Okay. Oh, you can't switch from there. Physical defense, magical defense, chance of being targeted. Weight goes up. Wait, what does that raise? Raises attack as well. Magical attack and uh, restorative power. I get that they're kind of piling on a lot of options at the beginning here, but, like, not being able to ease into it like I did with the other games is kind of, fr uh, kind of weird. The desert is full of mysteries. Many an adventurer has been drawn there. Pig. Ah, you are a visitor here, yes? I would be happy to offer you a special rate for the night. Oh, no thank you. I don't need a room. I was just hoping to ask you a question or two. Have you heard any rumors about a glowing blue stone? Hmm, I do not think so, no. My apologies. I guess it was kind of a long shot. Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Ah, uh, but wait! 
There's more. They have nothing to do with anything, but I did hear one intriguing little tidbit. Everybody here? Good. I just heard something pretty interesting from the innkeeper. So apparently, there's some ruins out in the desert where people said they saw some kind of strange stone. You think that might be the water crystal that, like, how do we why would... It's not just idle gossip. In the absence of any alternative avenues of investigation, we have little choice but to at least go and take a look, wouldn't you say? Did she tell you where exactly these ruins are to be found? If they knew it was the water she crystal, why wouldn't they check it? South of the city. But we need to be careful. The way I hear it, the place is crawling with monsters. You guys ready to do this? What? We're setting off already? Oh, and we put our feet up for a wee while first. I, I'm still jiggled after that trek across the desert. You put your feet up if you must. I, for one, will be heading for these ruins without delay. <laughs> no, you don't let up, do you, your highness? I merely wish to strike while the iron is hot. If our trip to the ruins proves successful, I shall be the first to buy you a congratulatory beverage. Oh, no, there's an offer I can't refuse. Let's get cracking. Is it just me or does Seth look like he dresses like, like Han Solo? He's like a fantasy Han Solo. We're well prepared. There'll be no beverages for anybody if we don't make it back in one piece. Nod, agreeingly. There are five jobs already available to try at the beginning of the demo version. All-around adventurer, restore magic, battle magic, defensive warrior, offensive warrior. Try picking a new job from the jobs menu. You might be able to, you'll be able to pick both a main job and a sub job. As your job increases, you will acquire new active and passive abilities. Active abilities are attacks or spells that must be selected in order to be used. Passive abilities simply need to be activated on the abilities menu. You'll be able to enjoy their benefits automatically in battle or wherever, wherever else you may be. You can keep active and passing abilities until you run out of points to assign, so be sure to make the most of them. In this demo, the cost of your passive abilities cannot exceed three. New weapons and armor can be found in treasure chests, bought in shops, and acquired by other means. You'll need to equip them if you want to enjoy the benefits they offer. Any character can equip any weapon or piece of armor, but be aware that if you equip something that will weigh you down, your attributes will suffer if you exceed your carrying capacity. A character's carrying capacity depends on their job. Be sure to choose suitable equipment for everyone in the party. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's overloaded. Yeah, no, no one's hitting the hitting the limit here. We got items. Potion, ether, phoenix down, antidote, echo herb. There's just a dead. Oh, and our weapons. Okay. I'm in need of supplies. I've used my very last wolf hide and find myself in need of additional supplies. Wolves can usually be found near the road that leads to the mountains to the west. Difficulty one star. Waiting for you to bring me some good news. Is there anyone else here that needs help like that? Blindness immunity. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to buy. Gaming hall is another subquest. Just checking everywhere to be safe. Sooner we had to. Oh, interesting. So your party doesn't actually stick with you. 
when you're in st city areas. They'll just, like, stand around. I'm sure there's still, like, skits and all that stuff, but... Excuse me, young man. Would you be so kind as to bring me some of the venom of the pesty pasties? Pasty? I don't know how to say that word. Which infests the sand swept ruins. Alas, I'm not at liberty to divulge what I intend to use it for. Collect three doses of snake venom. He's gonna make an aphrodisiac out of it. I'm guessing that's going to be it for the demo. It's going to be those two, those three quests, and that's it. Scholar from Wizwald who's on a quest to decipher. Okay, never mind. The yellow icon just indicates a story objective, while the red icon indicates a subquest objective. If you're ever lost, you can use these markers to work out where you need to go next. Outside the safety of towns and cities, the world is infested with monsters. Come into contact with one of them and the battle will commence. Oh, and so no more random encounters. Approach a monster from behind to surprise it and strike it first. Press A while out in the field to dungeon to swing your sword. If it makes contact with a monster, you enter into battle in a more advantage advantageous position than usual. You can also use the cut grass and other vegetation. You may even cover a hidden item or two if you're lucky. Cool. Sweltering Savalon. Ugh. You're unusually quiet, Elvis. Is everything okay? Ah, it's alright for you youngsters, but when you get to be my age, this kind of heat really takes it out of you. Yeah, I'm not doing voice acting right now. Stop being ridiculous. What are you, 35? You'd think you were 100 the way you're going on. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose there might be some life in the old dog yet. I, <laughs> I've got a new trick or two to learn yet. And have one or two to teach you too, lassie. You miss random encounters? Ah, uh, I'll have to see how I feel about it. He's right, though. It's sweltering around here. Are you alright? Huh? Me? Sure, I'm fine. A little hot, but it's no big deal. I mean, this is a walk in the park compared to three days on the open sea. Gosh, you really spent three whole days at sea? How terribly heroic you sailors are. Not bothered by the heat, eh? Sounds like your share of the water's going begging, then. Dibs! Absolutely not. That wouldn't be fair at all. Fine. Yes, your highness. Three bags full, your highness. See, you're not old at all, Elvis. You're the biggest kid of all of us. Potion obtained. I feel like... I f yeah, I feel like the, the turning in this game is very weirdly... Uh, like... Like, it's almost, like, tanky, in a way. The initiative is ours. Guess it's my turn. Brave and Default commands are the key components of the Bravely Default battle system. Yeah, Default def uh, defends and gives you 1 BP. Um, Brave allows you to take actions. So the definite is paid off making use of these two given commands. When certain conditions are met, powerful special moves can be performed. The music will also change and all four characters' attributes will be boosted while the special song is playing. The conditions in question are based on the party members performing particular actions a certain number of times. For example, freelancers can work towards special moves simply by performing regular attacks, while monks will need to use martial arts moves. Help messages telling you the conditions for each job should be displayed. Note, only Seth can perform special moves in the demo version. Alright then. I 
guessing L. Oh no, L doesn't actually do that. Battle info. Okay. Flea is its own com button. Examine enemies' HP and weakness. Once it's examined, and then uh, permanently unlocks. Wait a minute. This is a. This is different. This is different from the other games. In the other games, you picked your whole party's setup beforehand, didn't you? Now it's actually just going by turn. I thought that was weird, but I wasn't sure. I don't remember Brave of the Fall as well as you would like. Yeah, it's in, I'm, in the the other two games. You definitely picked your whole team's setup ahead of time, which led like you had to plan the team. The turns out now it's a little more flexible, I guess. But at the same time, not being able to plan an entire turn out in advance uh, might have uh, a downside to it. Can't really uh, discern that right now. Like the times two battle speed. Here I go. Wait, why did they both gave a gain a BP there? What happened? Making Zelda now. This game's just turn based Zelda. Whoa! Come, do your worst. Oh, jeez. Taking a whole lot of damage here. Oh, one BP is when they can't act. Okay. Also, I have to go to. I have to eat after. Uh, after this is uh after this battle, so I'm gonna have to stop. Can we stop? Are you kidding me? It's 
my turn. Okay, I'm going all in. I Sorry, Let us continue on our way. Whew. Getting stronger. All right, yeah, I gotta stop here for for a little bit. I gotta go eat. Uh, I will. I'm probably gonna just put this into sleep mode. Um, I'll come back to this in a bit, probably right after I'm done eating, actually. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a little while if you're still interested. Otherwise, uh, I'll probably see you later. Yes, I will enjoy my meal foods. Uh, after I finish this, I don't know what else I'm gonna stream, but I want to try to do something else today too. So I'll uh hopefully see you guys in a bit. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching Animal Crossing. And I will talk to you uh, later. Bye-bye.